I'm Kirara, the artist behind the monthly virtual pet bases on awaz.com. I try to make my files as easily workable as possible, but there are a lot of art programs out there and not all of them tend to play nicely with each other. Sometimes you get layers behaving strangely or colors bleeding out of their lines, but usually it's just a matter of tweaking the layers to behave properly in your specific art program. So in this video, I'll be covering some of the common reasons why your file might not look right when you try to open the PSD and how to fix it. I currently draw these bases in Clip Studio Paint and previously drew them in Photoshop, so I'll be switching between the two programs here. What I have open now is my Scorpio Zodiac base. You can see that there is a poison cloud that wraps around both in front of and behind the scorpion. The poison cloud colors and all of the shading are inside its own folder which can be viewed and edited apart from the rest of the base. The reason I can hide part of it behind the scorpion without having to actually erase anything is thanks to what's called a layer mask. By adding a layer mask to a folder or layer, you can hide things temporarily without erasing them for good. To unhide a masked element, just deactivate the mask by unchecking this box in Clip Studio, or right click and select Disable in Photoshop. To turn it back on again, just click the mask. The layer mask icon looks similar in both Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint a square with a circle in the middle. To add a layer mask to a layer or folder, simply select the layer you want the mask applied to and then click the mask button. You can see it has now linked a mask to the layer I selected. In Photoshop, drawing with the color black will hide areas and drawing with the color white will show them again. In Clip Studio Paint, adding or removing masked areas is done with the brush and eraser or transparency tools. However, not all programs are capable of adding masks to entire folders, especially older versions of Photoshop which may not support folder systems at all. If this is the case, your file might look like this. I have taken all of the smoke layers out of the folder, which means the mask attached to this folder is not working since there is nothing inside the folder anymore for the mask to affect. If I hide and unhide the layer, you can see it has no effect. If your program supports folders, you may simply just need to put the layers back into the folder. Or if the folder is missing, create a new folder to put them into. Then you can click and drag the mask onto your new folder. If your program does not support masked folders, you will have to apply the mask to each layer individually. You can see here what used to be my folder is now a single layer with a mask applied to it. There is nothing on this layer and turning it on and off has no effect. To add the layer mask to the appropriate layers, simply hold down the ALT key on your keyboard, then click and drag to copy the mask to your other layers. Repeat this step for all the layers you want to mask until it looks the way it's supposed to. In Clip Studio Paint, copying a mask works the same way. Hold down the ALT key, then click and drag the mask to your other layers. Another common problem is when layers become unclipped and colors bleed outside the lines. 
clipped layers attach themselves to the layer beneath them and stay only within that area. It's a great way to add color or shading without worrying about scribbling outside the lines. If your layers have become unclipped, simply right click them and select Create Clipping Mask. In Clip Studio Paint, select this button that looks like a cutout square which says Clip to Layer Below. You can see in both Photoshop and Clip Studio lines that are connecting down to the layer they are clipped to. Some programs do not support clipping to folders, which can also make colors bleed outside of the lines. You can see my gradient layer here is affecting the whole canvas instead of just the scorpion because it only has the ability to clip to layers, not folders. There may be a better way to get around this, but I opt to just disable the gradient layer until I'm done coloring my base. When I'm satisfied with the coloring, I duplicate the whole pet and merge all the duplicate layers. I want to keep my unmerged layers here for safety in case I need to come back and make any edits, but I don't need it right now, so I'll just hide the original. Now that my base is a merged layer instead of a folder, Photoshop will let me clip the gradient layer to it. This works for any additional colors or effects you want to add on top of your base. In Clip Studio Paint, you can clip layers to folders, but only if the folder is set to normal. If your clip layers have a gray line, or aren't affecting the folder you want it to, select the folder and make sure the mode is set to normal. If you are working with a very basic program that does not support masks, folders, or layer clippings, you might see a very messy file like this. You can still work with these bases, but you'll need to do a bit of editing. First of all, make sure your layers are unlocked. Deselect the Lock Transparency button in Photoshop or Clip Studio. Next, choose the Magic Wand Select tool. Make sure Sample All Layers is deselected. Similarly, in Clip Studio, make sure Refer to Editing Layer Only is selected. Then, find the Base Color Fill layer for the whole area we want to fix. It should be a solid flat color in the shape of the base, like this. Click this area to select it with the Wand tool. If the base fill is not one solid color and you're having trouble selecting the whole thing, lock the layer, make it a solid color, unlock it, and then select it as normal. I'm going to turn off some of these messy layers so I can better show you what I'm doing. We're going to focus on just the scorpion for now. With the base fill outlined by the wand tool, right click and select the option Select Inverse. The wand tool now has everything outside the base fill layer selected. Click the first layer that is bleeding outside the lines and hit Ctrl X on the keyboard. 
This deletes everything you had selected on that layer, which means all the scribbles outside the lines are now gone. Repeat this step of selecting, inverting the selection, and deleting for every layer until the base looks clean. If you have elements like the poison cloud, where not everything is connected, simply hold shift while using the select tool, which will allow you to make multiple selections at once. Now that the base has been cleaned up, we can create color layers and color as normal. Then we can use the selection method to clean it up like we did with all the other layers. If you are working with a program that has no other way to mask layers, you may have to simply just erase them. Clip Studio works the same way by using the wand tool, selecting this invert selection button, and using Control X to delete the unwanted areas. Remember that in both Photoshop and Clip Studio, you can hold down the Shift key to make multiple selections at once. or hold down the ALT key to deselect selections. Once you're done coloring and erasing, use the same duplicating and merging method discussed earlier to apply the gradient layer to all areas of the base. This time, you'll want to lock the layer Make it one solid color, select everything, invert it, and then delete the extra from your gradient. Now the gradient layer can apply to the whole scorpion and you can get rid of this copy. And there you have it! There's pretty much everything you need to know about fixing the common errors that happen when translating these files from one program to another. Most of what I do when building these files consists of pretty basic layer modes, clippings, and masks. So just take some time to get familiar with your program, figure out how these things work, and you'll be able to set up files in a way that works for you. Please let me know what you thought of this tutorial, if it helped you, and whether you might want to see more. This has been Kirara, and I'll see you on AWAS.